everyone, welcome in. We're doing something a little different this time, diving deep into a single essay called The Wanderer. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's by Ellie from Be Guided by the Light, and it really struck a chord with me. I'm intrigued. What's the essay about? Well, she starts with this image of a peaceful path winding through a magical forest, and it really sets the tone for this exploration of, well, finding your way, feeling lost, finding your way. Have you ever felt that? Like you're craving a straight shot to success, some kind of roadmap with no detours. Oh, absolutely. Who hasn't? Right. And Ellie talks about that longing, that desire for a manual, a script, anything to make the path crystal clear. I can see why you connected with this. Totally. But here's where things get really interesting. She realizes, and this was huge for me, that it's the twists, the unexpected turns, even those bumps in the road that make the journey worthwhile. It's the essence of a growth mindset, isn't it? Yes. Viewing challenges not as setbacks, but as opportunities for learning and development. Exactly. And Ellie doesn't just dip her toes into these tougher moments. She leans right in. Which is what we all have to learn to do, <laughs> right? It's so true. And you know what else struck me? She doesn't just talk about this from her own perspective, but also through her experiences guiding others. Oh, wow. It's like she's witnessing this collective journey of struggle and triumph. And that really resonated with me. What do you think about that? It's huge. That feeling of not being alone, you know? Knowing that others are navigating those same doubts, celebrating those hard-won victories. It speaks to the power of shared experiences, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. That sense of community, of not being alone on the journey, it's everything. It's like she's saying those challenges, they're not just speed bumps, right? They're practically built into the journey. Yeah, exactly. And that really resonated with me, this idea that real growth, real transformation, it's not like an instant download. It takes time. It's a process. And she's not afraid to say it might be a long and winding one, but I think she'd agree it's about finding those sparks of joy along the way, wouldn't you say? Totally. And she talks about that, about savoring the journey, not just chasing the end goal. And it made me think about that image she used at the beginning, the path through the forest. The good one, right. So powerful. It's like, even when we feel lost or unsure, if we can just take a breath, appreciate what's around us, the journey becomes... I don't know, richer somehow. A hundred percent. But Ellie's not afraid to get real either, is she? She talks about those moments of doubt when it feels like you're moving backwards. Yeah, absolutely. Those moments when progress feels impossible. And yet she always comes back to this really powerful idea, this belief in our own resilience. Yes. Like there's this well of strength inside us and it's the challenges, the tough moments that help us tap into it. Yeah. She actually calls it, and this is one of my favorite parts, perseverance as a superpower. It's such a great phrase because it's not just about, you know, gritting your teeth and pushing through. It's about recognizing that inner strength, that power we all have to overcome obstacles and come out even stronger. And you know what? There's actually research to back this up. Really? Studies have shown that this thing, grit, this ability to persevere, it's actually a stronger predictor of long term success than talent or IQ. Isn't that wild? Wow. Grit. More important than talent. That's pretty amazing when you think about it. And you know what else really stuck with me? It was that idea of being a candle in the dark for others. Oh, yeah. I love that part. It's like when we tap into that inner strength, that resilience, it doesn't just benefit us. It has this ripple effect, doesn't it? Exactly. It inspires those around us to find their own strength, too. It's like our journeys... We think they're solitary, but really they're all intertwined. So true. And that brings us to, I think, one of the most powerful messages in Ellie's essay, embracing your own unique path. That really hit home for me. Yeah, that's a big one. Yeah. Especially these days, right? Right. It's like we're constantly bombarded with images of what we're supposed to be doing, achieving, even feeling. And it's so easy to fall into that comparison trap. Totally. But Ellie... She reminds us that everyone's journey unfolds at its own pace. And, oh, she brings in that Tolkien quote. Which one? Not all who wander are lost. Perfect. It fits so well. It does. It's like she's giving us permission to define success on our own terms, to forge our own path. Even if it looks different from everyone else's. Yes. And that's, I think, when the real magic happens, when we silence those external expectations and tune in to our own inner wisdom. You start to appreciate your own progress, celebrate those victories, big or small. Exactly. And it's not just about celebrating the wins, right? It's about showing up consistently, even when it's tough. Yeah, taking action walk in the walk. Ellie really emphasizes that, aligning ourselves with our dreams through consistent effort. And, mm -hmm. and get this, she takes it a step further. What's that? 
She says we should celebrate each other's victories. Like that. Offer support when times are tough. Because, and this is really cool, she believes that inherently elevates your own journey too. Because we're all in this together, right? Exactly. When we support each other, celebrate each other's wins, it creates this this network of support that benefits everyone. It's amazing. So to kind of wrap things up, it seems like Ellie's message isn't about enduring hardship. It's about embracing the whole journey. The highs, the lows, the detours, the breakthroughs. Yes. Recognizing that every experience, every single one, shapes us. It leads us closer to who we're meant to be. It's about trusting the process, even when it's messy, even when it's uncertain. Mm. And I think that's something we all need to hear sometimes. It is. And, you know, to bring it back full circle, not all who wander are lost. That's such a powerful reminder to trust our own paths, however winding they may be. They're leading us exactly where we need to go. So well said. Now, before we go, I want to leave you with this. What does staying true to your path look like in your own life right now? What small step can you take today, just one, to align with your own inner compass? Maybe it's finally starting that passion project you've been putting off, or maybe it's simply carving out a few moments for quiet reflection. Whatever it is, I encourage you to embrace it fully. Until next time, keep exploring, keep growing, and keep wandering with purpose.